So let's now talk about the spindle sander. We previously talked about using the disc sander and we said that our minimum distance our finger should be from the sanding area is one inch. Our spindle sander is exactly the same. Again, we want to make sure our fingers are at least one inch from that sanding area. Okay, again, an inch, about that big. You can measure it if you want and there's also markings on our sanders. When using our spindle sander, instead of using it for outside curves, or for sanding parts that are flat, like our disc sander, we use our spindle sander to, sur to sand inside curves, like this. Now with this machine, uh, we have an on-off switch at the bottom of our spindle sander, which you can see down below. So to turn it on, I can flick it up, and then to turn it off, I can flick it down. And of course you'll notice that it spins. With this machine, always be aware of the direction that it is spinning. So this, when it's on, it's gonna be spinning that direction, which means our material can be pulled to that direction as well. So let's try it out. Turn the machine on. Again, my fingers are always an inch from the sanding area. And I can use this to start sanding. When I've finished, again, make sure to turn it off. Make sure it stops. Now this one stops a little bit quicker than our disc sander, but if it is close to you, you could also use our cleaning piece as well to stop the machine, and it also helps to clean it. So you'll notice that I did a little bit of sanding on there. We do have a couple different sizes. You'll notice our smaller size here. We also have a larger drum here. And we have a lot of different sizes that we can change on these machines. So if there's a certain size that you need, we can make adjustments as well. Now when using this machine, we can use it for inside curves, but we cannot use it for holes or circles drilled in our wood. So on this machine, for example, we cannot take our piece of wood like this and stick it over top and start sanding it our wood could potentially start to spin. And if it starts to spin on here at that high speed, again, our fingers are gonna be sitting there and we could hurt our fingers or break our fingers. So we make sure we never take a piece of wood that has a hole in the middle or a circle cut out of it and put it over top. We use it for inside curves like this, but not like this. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy working with our disc sander as well as our spindle sanders. Again, if you have any questions, please make sure to talk to Mr. Hebner.